Champs, people of Golf Clash. I recorded one of these earlier today, but it's taken 20 hours to process. Thank you, YouTube. Appreciate it. Maybe y'all will get a, a two for one. We do have the Monarch Ball in the shop to go along with the Kings of Golf Clash theme. We have a unicorn. We have a tiger with a crown. And we have some gold and white and some purple in there. I think the ball looks cool, to be honest with you. Power four, over power needle stability of plus three, side spin two, wind resistance five. We have one other ball that's similar to, well, two other balls that are similar to this. If we go to wind resistance power, we go to power four, side spin two plus, we're going to have the hatchet ball, which is a plus two, over power needle stability, and then we have the outlaw ball, which is a side spin three, but only a plus one needle stability. So this new ball would certainly come in handy if you don't have any of those balls. If you don't have any hatchet balls, if you don't have any outlaw balls, um, you would certainly want to have a power four win five ball in your bag. Um, pretty much, I mean, in my opinion, from, from any tee, but uh, most especially from third tee. Um, where is this ball going to be used? Well, I mean, I don't know. It doesn't have a precision attribute to it, so it may not be used. But uh, this is a good ball. I mean, prior to precision balls, this is about as just as good as you can get um, as, far as, as far as a ball. Maybe, you know, one more side spin, maybe one more power, something like that. But, uh, I mean, they, they don't offer too many power four win five balls, at least um, not uh, this heavily statted. We do have some power four side spin one win fives with the fourth anniversary and, um, and the good open ball. This one right here, we also have a 445, the wreath. I forgot about that one right here. Again, we haven't used this ball once um, that I can recall since this ball has gone on sale. And, and again, the reason is why it doesn't have a precision stat. And let me show you right here. If we're going to use a power, if we're going to use a win four, power four ball or, or whatever, if we're going to use a power, four, this is the ball that we're going to use right here. And that's it. But if you have no problems with hitting perfect, you know, if, if you feel if you feel confident hitting sniper from distance perfect or B-52 or Grizzly or whatever your, you know, club is, then, you know, this, this could definitely be a ball, you know, that you want to consider. Having the plus three overpower needle stability alone um, gives it good consideration for purchase uh, because, you know, this is going to get it done in headwinds on long par fives. This is going to get it done on, in headwinds on long par fours. You know, this would be a generally good all-around ball. You know, there, is there a few stats that are left to be desired? I mean, one or two, maybe. Maybe a little more side spin. You know, like, like I said, maybe another power. But, I mean, this is this is a good ball. For what it is, for what they're offering, it's a good ball. I would have liked to have seen a precision two or something on there. So what do we have? A nine. So four plus five is nine. So 11. I mean, they have sold up to 15, 16 stat balls. So, I mean, they could have easily put a precision two or a precision three right here, and this ball would have been phew, chef's kisses, chef's kisses. But as it sits right now, you know, you'd probably get a good eight and a half out of ten if I, if I had to give it a rating, and I don't really know what I'm rating it on because I am not. I wouldn't really play this ball in tour play. But, um, yeah, it would definitely come in definitely come in handy. Again, if you do have plenty of the um, hatchet balls, if you have plenty of the uh, outlaw ball, this ball right here, and if you have plenty of the hatchet ball, I think you'll be just fine. I think you'll be just fine. That said, oh, yeah, also if you have plenty of the wreath balls. Uh, that said, they don't release too many um, power four win fives. So, you know, if you're a collector or if you're somebody that goes through a lot of balls like these, then this is um, something that um, I definitely would not uh, pass up. Again, guys, if you see some other video that pops up out there about a ball review, again, you know, it's just it's been processing for hours and hours and hours. Anyways, always interested to hear what you have to say, what your thoughts are. Is this ball for you? Does it speak to you? Are you going to get it? What's going on there? Let me know. All right, guys, good luck. Adios.